Hey guys, welcome back to Hyper Danganronpa H2O. The fifth trial is coming to a head. It's really looking like Four did it, but that she was the one who killed Ash, but it's again that it seems too simple. I know it's it's shaping up to look like she's the quote unquote traitor which we've seen in the other games though that the the traitor isn't never really betrayed anybody we were just told they were one um, with Sakura on the first game and Chiaki on the second game so let's see how this plays out Four? What is it? Four? Please say something. I... I noticed. One of my spare outfits is missing. Huh? Four? You didn't do it, right? She won't admit it. Maya, I think you know what to do. But... But I don't want to. Please, we have to go over the whole thing so we can find the truth. Ash is the hypnotist, though. Did he... Oh no. Is is this going to go where I think it is? But what if it's not the truth I want? What if the truth is too painful to bear? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of hunting down killers. I'm sick of pointing fingers at my friends. Four, I can't accuse you. After everything that's happened, I, I just can't. Maya. You can't, you can't give up hope. In here, in this trial room, all we have left is the truth. You can't run away from it because we're trapped with it. Ignoring the truth is like accepting death. I'm, I'm scared too, but we can't be scared. We have to be brave. So I want you to lay it all out. I want you to lay everything out for me. Everything that happened. But I... Please, don't give up on the truth. Things are hard now, but you'll be okay in the end. Got it? So don't give up. I won't give up on the truth. I'm going to go over the entire crime, so there won't be any doubt in our minds. I'm gonna go over everything we know, okay, Four? It's 7.30 p.m., you... Okay, 7.30 was when the... The incinerator was open then, right? You hid your clothes in the incinerator room. After that, you invited Ash to the meeting room. In the meeting room, you... Did she stab him there, or did she... Hmm... This part I'm not... I'm not too clear on yet. Okay, wait. After stabbing him, you... Into the incinerator room. After burning the evidence, you... Threw it... 
Oh, damn, I'm... Aw, oh, there are parts of this I'm still... I'm still not clear on. I think I got something wrong. Crap. Okay. Here's how the crime went down. You started off by preparing the murder and cover-up. You gathered weapons from the armory and hit and got them in the meeting room, then hit a spare change of clothes in the incinerator, but didn't turn it on. After that, you invited Ash to the meeting room where you stabbed him in the chest. After that, you went to the incinerator room and burned your bloody clothes and switched them out for the clean ones from earlier. Next. You went to the meeting room and threw Ash's body down from the ledge, and ran as fast as you could. Everyone else has something to back up their alibi except for you. Is that really it? Do you need me to go over it again or something? No. I believe that I did it, but... I... I don't remember it. You what? And I think I know why. You don't remember murdering Ash? How's it possible? Wouldn't you remember something like that? Wait, I think you guys are forgetting something. Something about Ash. Right. The ultimate hypnotist. His talent. He's... A hypnotist. Wait, does that mean... I... was hypnotized? Wait, if Four was hypnotized, doesn't that mean everything's totally different? He hypnotized Four and made her kill him? Why would he do that? It was to get rid of me, I assume. He knows that I infiltrated the game, and considering he was an employee of Freedom Academy, He's most likely tied to it somehow. Back in my year at Freedom Academy, his job was keeping an eye on the students. While acting as one of us, he was the eye of the higher-ups. He knows I might mess up the game, so he sought to get rid of me. And then he ordered you to stab him and then cover it up? I'm assuming I was hypnotized in the meeting room. I actually have a vague recollection of what happened before meeting him there. So you didn't invite him, it was the other way around. He's probably the one who stole my spare change of clothes, too. So he set up the spare change of clothes and the weapon, then invited you to the meeting room? Then he hypnotized you and ordered you to stab him, then go get the clothes that he left for you and change? I assume so. I... I fell for his trap. No, I, I can't accept this. I refuse to accept this. I don't want to believe it! Maya, please, don't make this harder. I fell for his trap. But... but... There has to be some other way. I don't want you to die. Maya, if you don't believe it, then I'll spell it out for you. I'll go through all the details of my crime and prove to you that I did it without a doubt. Oh, this is a reversal? The case began with the plotting of one individual. Ash. He began his plan by collecting an assortment of weapons from the armory and putting them on the table in the meeting room. He then stole one of my spare outfits and hid it in the incinerator, making sure not to turn it on. After that, he left me a note telling me to meet him in the meeting room. I arrived in the meeting room, unaware of what was going on. At that moment, he used his skills as the ultimate hypnotist to put me into a state where he could issue any command he wanted.
His orders were simple. Stab him, then go change my clothes in the incinerator, then leave. I assume I had no choice in the matter, considering I have no memory of it. So I stabbed him in the chest. The stabbing left both of us covered in blood, and I began to follow his next order. I went to the incinerator room and switched my bloody outfit for the clean one, then burned the bloody outfit. Throughout the entire event, I was completely unaware of my actions. After burning the bloody clothes, I went back to the meeting room and retrieved the body. Then... Now do you understand? There's only one person with no alibi, and one person who fits the story. Ash totally pulled a Nagito on us. Didn't he? Me. Fork Hyden, the ultimate biochemist. But you didn't do it. It was Ash though, right? Considering I'm the one that did the act, I'm sure Kirakuma will have me as the killer. That's... that's usually how he does things, yeah. In the event of a murder under hypnosis, whoever the one who did the actual murder was... was... is the one who's guilty. Hypnosis is a complicated subject, so I'll just take it at face value. But... I... I don't want you to die. I'm sorry, Maya. It's too late for me. Please. After everything we've been through, I can't lose you. Before, I care about you. Maya, don't you understand? I lied to you. I lied to all of you. I infiltrated this game. I am a traitor. No, I refuse to believe that. I know you're a good person. Whatever reason you had to infiltrate the game must be a good one. After all this time, after all we've been through, I'm not ready to lose you. Please, don't go. I'm sorry, Maya. Oh! Hunter? Hold up a minute. Please, Hunter. No, I just know something suspicious. Suspicious? That's right. It has to do with the fact that Ash fell from the ledge. Why would Ash order Four to do that? How does that make any kind of sense? Also, if Four threw his body over the ledge, wouldn't she be getting blood on her outfit all over again? That's a very good point, Hunter. If that was the case, she probably would have noticed the blood when she came out of her trance. Did you notice some anything like that? I I don't think so. So if it doesn't so if it doesn't make sense for Ash to tell her to throw him off the ledge, and if throwing him off the ledge would have gotten her all bloody again. Are you suggesting he did it himself? So what now we're gonna... Ash really did commit suicide, like... Like, com like, legit? Was he... Was he trying to do... Again, he pulled a Nagito! He was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong decision. And get everybody killed. Oh my god! But how? I stabbed him in the chest, didn't I? That seems to be the case, but how do you know he died from the stab wound? I mean, stab wounds usually kill people. But didn't you notice? The knife was still in his chest. That would have at least blocked some of the blood, right? And do we know if any major necessary organs were punctured? Now that I think about it, I don't think the knife actually reached anything vital. So you're saying he survived the stab wound? That's right. He survived the stab wound, then left the office with all his strength and jumped off the ledge. Wow. 
Now that I think about it, the cause of death was never stated. Right, was it, was, hmm. There are a couple of things now I could. Not to mention the fault caused that snap neck. Right, that's, that, or, or. Didn't, didn't they say Koji pulled the knife out? Was that what killed him, then, from the blood loss? So that would make it suicide? I, I can see the logic behind it, but it doesn't make sense. Why would Ash kill himself? I can think of two reasons. Malice and kindness. If he did it as malice, his intention was to get us to vote for four, then have all of us die. Right. If he did it out of kindness, he wanted us to realize it was a suicide. That way nobody would die. But then, but then if that was the case, why do it in the first place? But then, but if he didn't want anyone to die, why would he have done it in the first place? Isn't it too risky? Right. Maybe. His initial plan was to get rid of four. He had her stab him. Then she went to change, but he didn't die. Maybe when he was sitting in that chair, realizing what little life he had left, he had a change of heart. Change of heart? Maybe you're right. When we were making the meal from a few days ago, we had that whole day to talk. Our conversation turned to how things have changed since we got here. I remember his words exactly. To be honest, when I first got here, I considered all of you guys my enemies, but... For some reason, you guys have grown on me. Even that loudmouth Maya. I hope all you guys can get out of here. Anyway, can you help me out with these carrots? He cared about us? Maybe he really did have a change of heart. So then what now? Who do we vote for? I can see how he could have done it, but can we really be sure? How do we vote? Like, can we really put our faith in Ash like that? Hey, Maya. Hmm? I think you should be the one to decide. I should decide. Why me? I agree. Maya's always been the one to get us through these things. After everything that's happened, I think I trust Maya's judgment. Yeah, I believe in you, Maya. Maya, whatever decision, whatever your decision is, I trust you'll make the right one. I have to make the decision. Everyone's counting on me. I think we should... Oh... I believe in Ash. I trust that in his dying moments he had a change of heart. Then I'll trust Ash too. Yeah, even if he was sort of a of a contrarian, if what Force said is true, then he really did care about us. I guess I'll put my faith in him. And I'll put my faith in you, Maya. If you're willing to put your faith in this, then I am too. The voting boots rise up, and we all place our votes. I always wondered why you could vote for dead people, but I guess it makes sense now. When we all finish voting, Karakuma speaks up. You all voted for Ash Saval, the ultimate hypnotist, and you were... Correct. I was wondering for a second if I did make the wrong decision, if, if we were going to either get a bad ending or something. So, it was Ash? We were right. Nobody has to die? Really? That's great. I didn't kill him. Yeah, 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 yeah! Four, you're innocent! Hunter, that means you were right! Thank God, I really snapped with that one, huh? Aw. We all celebrate. For once, the voting doesn't end in despair. I hug four. It's the tightest I've ever squeezed someone. 
She's alive. She's alive. Nobody else died. Ash, in his dying moments, gave us this one last gift. Ash, who was always the misanthrope, in his last moments decided that he cared enough to let us live. Something tells me this will all be over soon. So I'll make sure nobody else dies. Not on my watch. Is it is it going to end just like this, or is... I'm almost afraid to hit the button because... Karakuma is... He's not going to end. let it end like this, is it? Or maybe he... Oh... Okay, maybe it is. Alright then. I guess that's the end of Chapter 5, and uh, next time, I guess, looks like it's going to be the finale, so I'll, I'll see you guys then. I'm playing a game!